in the figure lines M and N are parallel. If X equals 6K plus 13 and Y equals 8K minus 29, what is the value of Z? So we're given the expression for X and Y. And since these are vertical angles, since they're on opposite sides of this intersection at this point, we know that the degree of X is equal to the degree of Y, which means that 6K plus 13 is equal to 8K minus 29, since this is the equation for X and this is the equation for Y. So then we can solve for the value of K. We can move this 6K to the other side by subtracting it from both sides, which will give us 13 equals 2K minus 29. Then we can move this negative 29 to the other side by adding 29 to both sides. So 29 plus 13 is equal to 42, which will be equal to 2K. Then we can divide both sides by 2 to isolate K. So K will be equal to 21. So now we know the value of K. So which means we'll be able to find the measure of these angles. So y is equal to 8k minus 29. And since k is 21, we can plug that in for k. Which will, when we put into our calculator, 8 times 21 is equal to 168 minus 29 equals 139. So the value of y is 139. So that's this angle right there. And since we know the value of y, we can actually find the value of z. Because this is two parallel lines that are being intersected by this transversal, we know that corresponding angles are equivalent. So if we move this intersection point down here, we'll see that y corresponds to this angle right here. So that means this angle is 139 degrees as well. And then we can use the fact that z, the angle z, and this 139 degree angle form this 180 degree straight line. So that means the measure of angle z plus the measure of the other angle that forms the line should add up to 180. So that means z should be equal to 180 minus 139. So 180 minus 139 is equal to 41 degrees. So the measure of angle Z is 41 degrees, which is answer choice C.